Every Canadian Governor General since the time of Vincent Massey has left a legacy. And Ray wanted his legacy to be something to do with the arts. He uh, was a good athlete, but his passion was the arts. He loved especially the performing arts. He loved music. He played in a band. So that was something he wanted to do, and that's why I've been carrying it on. I have met some of the most wonderful people uh, that I would not have met otherwise, young and old, um, people that uh, I've just met on the street saying thank you for doing this, or uh, young people who write us and, and tell us what the awards have meant to them and to their careers. Our first awards were given out in uh, 2005 in the performing arts, and then it, after that when the visual arts were included. And then we were fortunate enough to have uh, people offer to underwrite different, different awards, which has helped us a lot. We have given out um, over four and a half billion dollars in awards to young Canadians. And uh, we had, we've had some exceptional years. The, in 2017, to celebrate Canada's 150th anniversary, we gave out 150 $10,000 prizes to Indigenous Canadians from all over Canada and had a, a reception in Winnipeg. Uh, and it was quite spectacular. And we still hear from, from the, the recipients. I am very proud to be a Reveal Indigenous Art Award Laureate. I feel so honored to have received this award in 2017 and my career has truly taken off since then. I have performed across Canada and abroad, recorded a solo EP as well as my first original solo album, and both albums have been nominated and won awards in classical music and Indigenous categories. I'm also working on what will be the first opera sung in English and Inuktitut written by an Inuk. I have had the pleasure of sharing the unique Inuktitut classical music of Nunatsiavut far and wide, as well as the opportunity to create new works that share my perspectives on how we walk through this life and who and what we carry with us. How grateful I am for the recognition and support it's our 20th anniversary, so I, I thought to myself, what can we do that's special? And then the war had just broken out, and because Ray is of Ukrainian heritage, his father was born in Ukraine, uh, I thought it might be a good idea if we gave out 20 $10,000 awards, 10 to Canadians who are of Ukrainian heritage, and then 10 to artists in Ukraine all in the performing arts, and all the recipients had to be under 30 years of age. There is one submission from Ukraine, uh, a, a violinist who is playing the violin in uh, ruins in front of a school that has been demolished by the war. You can't help but be affected by something like that. We're raising money uh, from this project to help restore an arts facility in Ukraine uh, uh, that has been damaged by war. Uh, but we have to wait, of course, until the war is over. But it could be a concert hall, it could be op an opera house, it could be uh, an art gallery, uh, or even a school that teaches art. The reaction from the artists has been wonderful. We've heard from the, the artists in Ukraine, and we've heard from the artists in Canada, and we're going to be fortunate enough to hear and see all the Canadian recipients at a concert, a gala, to be, to be held the end of June in Ottawa.
my name is Boris Ostapienko. Uh, we are currently here in Toronto. I'd just like to thank the Natitian Foundation for the uh, grant and the support that this has given me to continue playing and develop. And with, with this grant, I mean, we're preserving history, heritage, culture with this instrument. Again, we don't know what's, what's going to happen overseas in Ukraine. Uh, we don't know how many of these instruments we're going to save, how many of these uh, instrument makers are going to be around. It's very, very easy to kind of look at things very darkly now and just completely forget about, you know, art, culture, any sort of miscellaneous, if we were to call it that really, and just kind of focus on like, you know, just living and nothing else, right? Like that's that's all, you know, you wake up, you make sure that everything's okay around you and then you go to bed and that's it, right? But I think you need to have the art, the theater, the culture, the music, all that, like you said, it does give you that hope. And especially with, uh, with the, again, personally with the Bandura and Ukrainian music, our songs are written in such a way that there's a resolute. Is a resolution and it's a good resolution and i think that's what people are looking forward to they see when you know the play ends or the music ends it's 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 a happy outcome my name is Olena Sotikova. i am from ukraine i have to this Улітку, і я побачила цей грант. Це було щось неймовірне, це було як з іншого життя чи що. Тому що я не мала можливості знайти для себе танці, знайти для себе арт, знайти для себе місце у Канаді. І, на жаль, мені довелося покинути все в один момент і побудувати все життя заново. Але цей грант — це Він дав можливість відчувати себе більш безпечніше і дав можливість вірити, що, що культура вона не вмирає, що вона є. І це велика підтримка для людей культури, це велика, велика довіра і це велика можливість продовжувати робити те, що ти так любиш. Тому я дуже-дуже вдячна а цьому гранту за те, що зараз я маю можливість продовжувати, і я маю можливість знайти для себе приміщення, зняти його і продовжувати танцювати, або зробити щось, якийсь неймовірний проект. Я сподіваюся, що це буде. І я дуже вдячна за цю можливість. Dear Natishan Foundation, we are Moravsky Chamber Choir from Kyiv. And we are extremely happy and grateful for your support and for the opportunity to take part in this initiative. You're doing a great job supporting artists for already 20 years. And on the occasion of the 20th anniversary of Natitian Foundation, we wish you prosperity, growth and many years of life. In the darkest of times, art can be uplifting. And I see that in the results of our work. <laughs>